Hey everybody, Colnar here. Welcome back to more NASCAR Thunder 2003. In the last episode, we won at Martinsville, therefore sweeping Martinsville. Because if you can see at the uh, Virginia 500, we won that. And now we swept... Well, we won the Old Dominion 500 at Martinsville, so basically we swept Martinsville. In this episode, we are headed to Atlanta Motor Speedway for the Napa 500. And here's the scenario. If I do better than Mark Martin in this race, then I've won the championship. If Mark wins this race or does better than me, then I'll have to win North Carolina. But the thing is, if I take out Mark Martin and his race is all over, if I just destroy his race car and just do okay at Atlanta... Then I will win the NASCAR Winston Cup Championship. Anything can happen here, folks. This is going to be one of the most intense races in the history of me playing NASCAR. So, anyways, let's start the qualifying. Ooh, second. Nice. That was a good lap. Second fast, second position. All right, I'll take second. A new best lap time. Okay, cool. So let's start this race. We're live from the Atlanta Motor Speedway in Hampton, Georgia for today's Napa 500 on MRN. I expect to see some exciting racing in this one, don't you, Barney? The high speeds that can be reached here does make for some exciting racing. There's no restrictor plates to keep them from being able to pass either. It's just all out, flat, good old stock car racing with the best drivers in the business. I can't wait to get this one underway. What a great starting position for the McDonald's car. Yeah, this should give that whole team a little boost. They've been struggling in qualifying week after week, but it looks like they're trying to turn things around. I'm proud of these guys. Dale Earnhardt Jr. has a solid top 10 spot in the standing so far. He's been working hard this season, and it is paying off so far. He'll need a good finish in this one to gain some spots. Jeremy Mayfield changed teams after the 2001 season, ending a four-year tenure with Roger Penske. A lot of people, Ray Evernham included, believe Mayfield still has a lot of untapped potential. He certainly has shown flashes of brilliance in the past. Maybe he can put that number 19 Dodge in victory lane today. For the land of the free and the home of the brave. Gentlemen, start your engine. All right, the engines are fired up. Mark Martin is in 12th. That's good. So, let's get down to racing. <coughs> ready, ready now. Green, coming. Green, flag. Green flag, we are racing at Atlanta. Oh boy, that's not how I want that to happen. Two Hendrick cars passing me. Let's 
Yes, five bonus points. <coughs> Ooh, whoa, I got... Whoa, ho, ho, I got Jimmy Spencer real loose and made him lose a lot of speed right there. Jeez, there's a bunch of Chevrolets in my rear view mirror. Oh no, Mark is in fifth. That is not what I wanted to happen. Dang it, Jeff, get out of my way. <clears throat> Ooh, Mark is here. Ooh, wreck on the front stretch. Wait, there's no wreck on the front stretch? What? <coughs> Mark, you better back off. Oh, Kurt Busch got into Jeff Gordon. Whoa. And Kurt Busch, he barrel rolls in. Oh, my goodness. Kurt Busch got in the back of Jeff Gordon, and then he barrel rolled, and Jeff Gordon and Kurt Busch are out of it. Wow. Unbelievable turn of events. And I'm just going to let Mark Martin do his thing. Come on, Mark. Pass me. Pass me, Mark. I know you want to pass me. Nope, get out of my way. Yeah. Made him lose some speed. Come on, I need to catch the junior. Man, it's not what I wanted to happen, but oh well. Darn it. Doesn't look like it. <coughs> Excuse me. Come on, Mark. Catch up to Mark. Right there. Let's see if we can lead this thing. How about I just take out Mark? Well, that's not how I wanted. Oh, caution's now out. 
And I blew a tire. That's not, not how I wanted that to happen, but okay. It looked like Mark's slow. He could be out of the race. Nope, he's not out of the race. But he will be very, very far back. Okay, Todd, Todd, this is not helping us. Hmm, almost to the top 20. Nice. <clears throat> if I can just distance myself from Mark Martin, I'll be good. And caution's out. Alright, made it back to the top 20. Nice. And caution's out. Uh, Shane all lost his hood. And Mark Martin is very far back, which is excellent. Now I will not pin under caution. Green flag is out.
Uh, we're in back in the top 20. I just gotta catch up to these guys. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back like two hours later. Or maybe three hours, four hours, I don't know. But, uh... Apparently my computer had a warning message on my screen, so... I had to literally end the recording and then shut down my computer and try to fix it. But now, everything seems to be up and running again. You know, this has been the worst day to record some episodes. But, oh well. Anyways, guys, uh, let's continue our race. Uh, I don't know what lap we're on, but... Yeah, let's continue and hopefully not crash into the wall, which I did. Take care of the car as best you can, buddy. Well, that's not what I wanted to have happen. At least I'm in front of Mark Martin. That's the that's the good thing about being in 20th. You're in front of Mark Martin. And he's all the way in the back of the pack. Ooh, and Elliot Siler blew his engine. So he's going to be out of the race. Three laps to go here in Atlanta. Two laps to go. Somehow I can't get around Shauna Robinson. Now I can finally get around her. Possibly. Nope. And here it is, white flag. One lap to go here at Atlanta. Well, it looks like I'll get 19th. I mean, it's not that bad. At least I ain't last. So, who won the race? Dale Earnhardt Jr. is our winner at Atlanta. There weren't very many lead changes. You could definitely tell the drivers who had the stronger cars. They got out front early and they stayed there the majority of the race. This has been NASCAR Winston Cup Racing. Brought to you by EA Sports and MRN. So long. We'll see you next week at the North Carolina Speedway. Oh, is this where I destroy Mark Martin? Yep. I only showed part of it, which sucks.
Well, that was great. So, Dale Earnhardt Jr. won the race. Jimmy Johnson finished second. Dale Jarrett third. Bobby Labonte fourth. Tony Stewart fifth. Now, where did Mark Martin finish? He finished in 27th. Okay, and I finished in 19th. So, that explains a whole lot. Okay, right now on calculations, it's going to be difficult. Don't want to save any game data left. But now I'm at 5,000 points exactly. Wow, that's pretty crazy. So, Mark Martin has is down by 621 points, so... Wait a minute. I think... Yep, it's official, everybody. It is official. Mark Martin cannot catch up to me. Therefore, with my 19th place finish today... And his 27th place, or 20-something place finish, I have officially clinched the NASCAR Winston Cup Championship of 2002. Success! And I've clinched Rookie of the Year and all that jazz. So yeah, I won the Winston Cup Championship. Even though it doesn't say I won already, but we all know that Mark Martin cannot catch up. He would need another race to catch up. But there are three more races, and therefore there would have been like 555 points up for grabs. And if you take two, I mean 621 minus 555, he would have been down 66 points behind me. So, therefore, Mark Martin cannot win the championship. It's over. I have won the championship. I have hold off Mark Martin for the win at exactly 5,000 points. So, yeah. <laughs> I won the championship. I am the champion. Ah, the game thought they the game thought they could take me down. But in realism, in realistic views, it couldn't. It tried to rob me of a lot of wins. It did. It, it also failed, but in the end, I still win. So, I have locked up the championship. Mark Martin's in second. Rusty Wallace third. Jimmy Johnson fourth. Jeff Gordon fifth. Tony Stewart sixth. Dale Earnhardt Jr. seventh. Sterling Marlin eighth. Ricky Rudd ninth. And Ryan Newman in tenth. So, yeah, that's currently your top ten. But not official. Because there's still three more races to go. And as you can see, I didn't win any of the weekly awards. I've automatically won Rookie of the Year. And, uh... Ford is still leading the Manufacturers Championship. And... Yeah, it's official. I'm, I am the official lap champion now. For the whole season. Because Mark Martin cannot catch up to me on there. So, yeah. I won. And we only got three races to go. The Pop Secret Microwave Popcorn 400 at North Carolina. The Checkered Auto Parts 500 at Phoenix. And then the Homestead 400 at Homestead Miami Speedway. So, yeah, guys. We're almost done. Just three more races and it's all done. So with that, I'd like to thank you all for watching this brand new episode of NASCAR Thunder 2003. If you enjoyed it, smack a like on it, subscribe if you're new to this channel, check out my other videos I've uploaded to my channel, and I shall see you guys next time for more NASCAR Thunder 2003. So with that, I'll see you guys later.